Remarkably, no one was killed in that blast that we know of yet. Officials say seven people are still in the hospital, three in serious condition, including one child. Dozens of residents, though, left with nothing. Sky 9 flew over what remains of that building, the Friendly Garden Apartments earlier. Crews are combing through the rubble, beginning the long process of cleaning up that scene. Tonight, the big question remains, though, how did this happen? WSA 9 Scott Broom live from the Silver Spring Complex on Littonsville Road, which is just off 16th Street. And Scott officials shared a little more on that possible cause just a short time ago. Well, they did in a briefing just a short time ago. They did make us aware. They told us they found a cut gas line in the basement of that destroyed building behind me there. They know that there was a maintenance worker on the site when this happened, and their theories are focusing on the possibility of some kind of human error, they told us today. But there is also news late this afternoon that cadaver dogs that were working here today have been indicating there may be human remains in the building. Cadaver dogs alerted twice during searches today, according to Montgomery County Fire Rescue Chief Scott Goldstein. We continue to operate under the belief that there is somebody in that area that the dog is alerting on and to continue to work to find that person. Authorities are hopeful it's a false alarm because all residents are accounted for and there are no reports of anyone missing. And as they dig, they're learning more about a possible cause. We have located a cut gas pipe in the basement. We are continuing to work to determine the source of ignition, and we are working multiple theories at this time and work on the evidence until there is a conclusive point for the source of ignition. Goldstein said a maintenance worker was doing plumbing work at the time of the explosion. That worker is among the injured. Senator Chris Van Hollen toured the site today and got a briefing. The most likely uh, cause uh, related to human error and not uh, the malfunction of one of the systems. I have nothing, everything. Meanwhile, victims of the explosion complained bitterly today, saying arrangements for a shelter at the White Oak Recreation Center is not meeting their immediate needs. <laughs> I have nothing. To go to that shelter, I'm not going to that shelter. And nobody even asked us what we need. County authorities said they'll arrange for people to get in and out of damaged buildings to recover belongings as early as tomorrow. And they'll begin distributing money collected for more than $350,000 in community donations early next week for those left with nothing. Finally tonight, let's do an update on the people who were injured. The, the injury count is now up to 14 people who were injured in this yesterday. Seven of those people are still hospitalized tonight, according to fire authorities. Three of them still in serious condition, and one of those in serious condition is a child. And again, authorities here are very hopeful that was go what was going on with these cadaver dogs today will turn out to be a false alarm because, again, all of the residents have been accounted for and no one has been reported missing. Reporting live in Silver Spring, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, still a lot more work to happen there at the scene. Scott, thank you.